So I'm sure many of you remember the debacle in Iowa this last primary cycle. All sorts of things went wrong. The the app that was supposed to be used for precincts to report their results to the Iowa party, Iowa Democratic Party, you know, failed miserably, leading to a delay in the results. There was confusion about who had actually won each round, and as it turned out, Bernie won the first round very convincingly, then he continually won each other round of the caucus, just his lead shrunk a little bit. But he won every round on the popular vote. Yet, the way the delegate math worked, Pete ended up getting one more delegate. So Pete claims victory, and like it, it, you know, it was just this whole debacle. It actually led to this wonderful clip from Bernie. In other words, some 6,000 more Iowans came out on caucus night to support our candidacy than the candidacy of anyone else. And when 6,000 more people come out for you in an election uh, than your nearest opponent, uh, we here in northern New England call that a victory. I just love that. We consider that a victory. Like, yeah, no shit. (laughs) And by the way, Pete, of course, turned around and complained about Trump's unwillingness to concede in the general election after he had, in the first state in the primary process, claimed victory when it was clear he had lost. (laughs) You just you can't find more of a self-driven career politician hypocrite than Mayor Pete. I have an article here in Politico, guys. We have some new information about what caused that app to fail so miserably and what led to some of the disorganization in the caucus process. Iowa autopsy report DNC meddling led to caucus debacle. State party audit finds plenty of blame to go around. Democratic National Committee meddling combined with missteps by the state Democratic Party were the primary drivers of the chaos that torpedoed the Iowa caucuses earlier this year, according to a new audit commissioned by the state party. The report, which was distributed to the Iowa Democratic Party State Central Committee at a meeting Saturday morning and obtained by Politico, identified a series of errors made by the DNC, IDP, and the technology company contracted by the state party to build a reporting app to collect caucus results. The February caucuses were overrun by foul-ups. The state party was unable to report a winner on caucus night. The mobile app to, re- to report results failed to work for many precinct chairs. The backup telephone systems were jammed, and some precincts had initial reporting errors. The state party chair, Troy Price, resigned in the wake of the debacle, which put Iowa's status as the first in the nation nominating contest in serious jeopardy. But the report pins the blame squarely on the DNC for the heart of the problem on caucus night, the delay in the reporting of the results. According to the report, the DNC demanded the technology company Shadow, by the way, just what a fantastic name if you really don't want to sound nefarious name your company shadow build a conversion tool just weeks before the caucuses to allow the dnc to have real-time access to the raw numbers because the national party feared the app would uh, miscalculate results the dnc's data system used a different database format than shadow's reporting app which caused multiple problems Attempting to graft an entirely new software element onto the back-end reporting system at the proverbial 11th hour is likely always going to be problematic, and it was ultimately the cause of a major problem on caucus night, the report concludes. Furthermore, the IDP was not involved in the development of this tool. The IDP simply permitted the DNC to direct the IDP's vendor. The audit states the conversion tool had coding errors that spit out inaccurate numbers and caused confusion about the accuracy of the results, eventually leading to delays in reporting. But the state party's app never malfunctioned, nor was hacked, the report concludes. When the DNC's database conversion tool failed to work correctly, it caused the DNC to wrongly stop the IDP from reporting its results, and the IDP's entire planned reporting process was thrown into disarray, the report says. The DNC's interjection was the catalyst for the resulting chaos in the boiler room and in the IDP's attempts to manually collect and confirm caucus results by hand. If the DNC had not interjected itself into the results reporting process based on its erroneous data conversion, Caucus Night could conceivably have proceeded according to the IDP's initial plan. So it appears that the DNC just kind of ran right over the Iowa Democratic Party and, you know, screwed this thing up every which way to Sunday. DNC has proven time and again that they are willing to meddle and interject in every possible way. And they've also proven that their administrative competence is lacking, to say the least, when they try to do so. The only time they ever have any competence at all is when they try to squash the left. That's it. (laughs) So... Uh, it's just funny to me, like, Tom Perez now is being considered for attorney general, you guys. Tom Perez has run the DNC for years. Tom Perez has overseen these kinds of massive objective failures. Tom Perez has, has 
failed to message in any remotely competent way to the extent that Democrats lost at the state level, in the House, and were, and failed to win back the Senate, even though Donald Trump was the top of the opposing ticket. That's how horrendous, you know, the messaging of Tom Perez and Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer has been. But in this party, you just get to fucking fail upwards. So Perez is being considered for attorney general after demonstrating this kind of administrative in- incompetence. Um it's just it's just, it's something else and i bet everybody wishes that they were in a profession where you could just fuck something up every which way to sunday over and over again and have the powerful rich elite be like we want you <laughs> it's remarkable simply remarkable so the dnc uh you know it seems like every time we learn about what they did in any given process it's it's something like this 